just on on the little ST grubs in Houdini. This will be a nice broom for sure. Just on on the little ST grubs in Houdini. This will be a nice broom for sure. Come out this morning, guys, to chase a few broom on the flats, and uh, and they're chewing again. So should be on for a good session here. Already have a few fish caught. too bad at all. In the net, there you go. He's alright, isn't he? He's first good fish of the day. There you go. On that little ST grubs. You can go back and uh, watch this, guys. Next cast, I reckon it'll be over in a matter of seconds. Yep, oh, oh no. Yep, yeah, on again. Oh, oh, here we go. It's got some gusto, this thing. Might just be a little GT, I think, because there are a few of them getting around. It's a trevally of sorts. Might be a fringe fin. Get a few of them around this time of year. Bit of fun, though. Good uh, fish every cast. They're just going off on this flat. Yeah, he looks like a fringy. They're pretty cool, these fish, these um, fringe fin, but don't all get all that big, so. He's one of the biggest ones I've seen. There you go, guys. It's actually a quite a good fringe fin. There you go. Again on that ST grubs. So he can go back and uh, we'll get another one. Came out last time, pretty similar conditions and uh, smashed it just like today, so. I won't um, say we're going to catch a lot, but I think we're going to catch a lot. Yeah, on again. He's good though, that's good. It's probably a broom that one. Not doing Trevally, Trevally-ish things, doing brim things. That's it, zoom that way. Yeah, nice brim, nice brim.
you could cast in any direction at the moment and uh, hook up to Brim, Trevally, you name it, they're hungry. Now this guy's only small so I'll get him off and uh, get another one pretty quicker. Try and get a big one. He's legal, he's like 30, 32 centimetres that guy, but ow, yeah nah, not the donkey we're after, so you can go back, good little fish. Okay, and uh, let's just cast that way. Just there, just in front of me, just like that. I think that's that's getting on a few fish for every cast. So <laughs> I reckon oh, he's got some head shakes. This fella, what is he? Oh, he's a bit better, broom. Tell you what, if we were in a tournament at the moment, I would be smashing it. This is this is where you come to catch brim. Out on the flats, in the bay. I'll tell you what, they are. They go alright, these ST grubs. And Houdini fishing over the weed and uh, he's actually a good fish. So there you go. He's a bit better, he's been getting up in that 30s again. Alright, let's um, find a big one, eh? off. Dang. Well that's probably a tailor. So I'll retie. And um oh, it's annoying. Having to retie and you're floating over all the fish. But while I'm retying I'll show you guys what I got here. So it's just one of these man bait binders and um, find the right ones they go all right for organizing your soft plastics so you can I load it up with probably like 15 packets of plastics you fit in one of these and um, yeah look when uh, you're out in the kayak or or um, going camping or you can only take so many plackies then a uh, great little thing to have. So just um, fishing these little these little uh, grubs on a one eighth ounce over the, the flats here. You don't need to fish super light because you're not letting it float down slowly in their faces. You're just rolling it back, and uh, you do let it hit the bottom. And you can, if you know they're following it and you're getting close to the boat or the kayak, then now uh, you drop it and give it a few hops in their face and they often commit. So, the only problem with these ones is uh, they do take a little bit more skill to rig. But once you got it down pat, it's um, not a problem at all. Make sure it's sitting 
nice and straight on the jig head and then uh, tie it on so just as easy as that re-rigging for your soft plastics and uh, hopefully we haven't gone past those fish we might do another drift if we um, if we can to where you get too deep but yeah so just on these flats you want about a meter of water meter to 1.2 even 50 centimeters is often good uh, the fish will sit, sit quite shallow sometimes especially if there's um a chasing bait or whatnot so uh just cut that off let's cut the tag off and um we're good to go again then i just like to apply a bit of uh pro cure guys so i got the mullet in the super gel and uh, that sticks to the ribbing of the plastic really well.